Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where today it is time to get out on track with the GT Black Series here of all places at COTA, Circuit of the Americas, home to the United States Formula One Grand Prix track. There are plenty of cars out on circuit at the moment, but having driven the AMG GT Black Series in the UK at Donington Park, over in Germany at the Nürburgring Nordschleife, in the Middle East as well at the Yas Marina F1 circuit, the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, also at Dubai Autodrome. It's time to add a pretty legendary track to the list. I've been here before, actually driving another AMG GT, the four-door 63S for the media launch a while back, but let's have a quick run over of the car. Then it's gonna be time to go and join all the guys out on track to experience my UK car here at the United States F1 circuit. Here we are then, back at Circuit of the Americas, only a week after the F1 race. Today, there are a whole load of Porsches out on track. As you can see, GT3 RSs, 718 GT4s. There are actually a couple of GT3 race cars, AMG GT3s, 911 Cups, and more. But we are, of course, here with the Beast of the Green Hell upgraded. The original AMG GTR was the Beast of the Green Hell. The GT Black Series broke the Nürburgring Nordschleife record. I have driven this car a lot already. It's on about 9,000 miles at this moment in time. We're over 3,000 miles. That was a very loud Corvette into the US tour already. But for the track, we've got the front splitter extended. It pulls out this two inches, five or six centimeters. You then put in these supporting braces. We've got a towing iron place as well. Been through all the rules because there are a few things that are different about the US track days to the UK or European track days. Today is with chin track days, recommended to me by a friend, put myself on, and here we are. Also with the car, tires. These are the Michelin Cup 2Rs, which are quite low on tread, so I can't go for endless laps, lots of laps in a single stint, because I can't get them too hot, because I need them to last me to my next destination, where I've got a spare set of tires ready and waiting to go onto the car. More about that later. Coming towards the back, though, yes, I made my number out of tape, number 150 for today, but quite fun. Under the boot lid here, I actually have the various different stickers from places I've been with this car so far. So the premium track day I did at Yas Marina, the SCD secret meet day at Donington Park, the stop with Whistling Diesel, that's the shipping sticker for bringing the car out here to the US. We've also got this, which was from the track day I did uh, at uh, Dubai Autodrome with Supercars Majlis, and these are actually my parking passes for the Abu Dhabi F1, which you can't see because they go on the inside of the window, but you'll have to believe me, that's what they're there for. Anyway, GT Black Series is a track monster. It's set up in road configuration at the moment. It comes with adjustable camber plates. I haven't changed those. It's in its default configuration. Same with the middle wing setting. You can change and pivot that angle. This upper level is electronic, so that happens while you're driving to go with the front splitter being extended. But yes, I've got a helmet, ready to go. It's gonna be time to go out for a first few laps just to warm up, ease into it. And then later on, in a little bit more anger, let's do this. My GT Black Series here at Kota. It is my group's turn. Let's get this started. Okay, front diffuser is out. It also tells me on the dashboard, as well as that, that traffic sign assist is inoperative because we're a very, very long way away from home. So, lid on, of course, get helmeted up and get ready to head out. I'm not gonna go immediately. I wanna let some of the guys who are really, really up for it go out first. But get in here, get comfortable, put this onto the track pace because you can go into vehicle and then bring up the track, which it will recognize as Circuit of the Americas. I've just done one slow sighting lap to make sure this was all set and ready already, which is quite fun because this car now has Donington, Yas Marina, Dubai Autodrome and Circuit of the Americas all in my UK car so go into timing here we go circuit of the americas you can see that was one pretty slow lap select it ready for me to cross the start line we've got a nearly full tank of fuel tire pressures are basically going to need deflating after the first couple of outings engine temps are still pretty much warm it was idling before and it's time to go so let's roll out! You have no idea how exciting this is. Of course, we need to have wristband check. There we go, good to roll. Out we go onto Cota, Circuit of the Americas. Out of the pit lane, 
up the hill towards T1. This is where it's quite interesting because obviously when you're on the inside of the corner, you are on the ideal racing line. And these guys have all done a few laps, so they have slightly warmer tires than I do as it goes a little bit under steering there. There we go, so let's put it up into Sport. We'll go straight to Sport Plus. We're away down the back straight at Kota. This thing is ludicrously fast. It's gonna take me a few laps before we're going 100% at it though. Gosh, I don't know where the best brake point is in here, but that is heavy on the brakes. This is an intense circuit for your brakes. first lap to be completely honest just getting a little bit accustomed with where I am driving this circuit again as we come around towards the last corner of the lap ready to go down the start straight um, I'm not gonna lie with the opposite direction point buys and that kind of thing there's a lot to learn start straight is all mine as we come up towards the hill Check this out as we come up towards T1 the first time. Look at this. I need to work out where the optimum turning point is because it's a surprisingly sharp corner as you go through there. Keeping eyes behind me, getting a bit of temp already into the tires, but still a lot more to go with the Cup 2Rs. It's actually quite a long circuit with more confusing corners than I remembered. And I apologize that I had to shout so much in here. That's down to the speaker sound that you can hear plenty of, that we've talked about before. No beating that. Well, actually, I think you can maybe code it out, but for the time being, it's in. It gets countered by having a much louder exhaust, thanks to the Opus upgrades. Back down the straight, let's go up into race mode. Pop it up into race. I can see some kind of race car out behind me. How epic is this? Bit of a shakedown test going on in the AMG GT3 in front of me. Hence, it's not anything like full speed. But regardless, following that, on a racetrack, looks unreal. Last time round for me. <laughs> Getting a little bit loose there. Empty behind me. But it's time to just chill it out a notch. Let everything cool down. And ultimately go in and deflate the tyres a little bit. And we are back in the pit lane. Hopefully all is well. And I haven't done something wrong. I'm not going to lie, a little bit overwhelmed first session so much going on at once that it's kind of uh, what do I need to be thinking about what's happening here um, I'm running in the red group which is the advanced group and uh, there are some good drivers out there and there are some race cars out there but I tell you what mission success for the first outing that was really cool and I've now driven this car at Cota I've driven my car at Circuit of the Americas I can't understate how cool that is to have done that. Like really, really freaking awesome. First session down, this car out on track is just unreal. It is so fast, so capable. Down the back straight, you're going probably up to 180 miles an hour if all is in line and going correctly. We need to lower tire pressures, but we've got a few sessions. It's quiet at the moment just for the lunch hour. I didn't do one of the sessions earlier, so I'm gonna be going again after lunch to try it another time out. Um, obviously doing this between each run when the temperatures go up, sometimes just leave the valve caps tucked away to make sure that everything stays in check. I let it down a little bit. I need to work out in PSI because I have bar in my head but yeah, we're not doing too badly. Anyway, I'll do that off camera when I've got it all lined up, but we'll go around all of these, get that done, get ready for another outing in a moment. A quick interlude, because during the lunch hour, we're doing a parade lap, which means driving with that Napier Green 675 LT Spider and the Senna, which as I've often said before, is probably the only car that's actually faster on a racetrack 
than this. So the GT Back series would be a McLaren Senna. And both of those, along with some of the other cars in the garage to our left, are actually from Rafa Racing Club over in Houston. Actually, look, more GT3s, 992s, actually loads of 992 GT3s, RSs, Cups, you name it, everything. It's a pretty cool lineup for today. So parade lap means just a slow, gentle run around the track, but hopefully an opportunity for a photo or two while we're at it. So let's see how all of this goes. <laughs> we're being waved up, no passing. Out we go. So, right, I'm gonna put the windows up. And uh, yeah, gentle cruise around Circuit of the Americas, which is where you realize quite how steep this first hill is. Actually be really interesting to walk up here. It's really, really steep. Well, let's make our way around and see where this takes us. It is time for my next session. It is very, very busy, I think, out here. But we've done the parade laps, we've had a lot of fun, and I am now going to venture back up the pit lane to go out and drive. Yes, I'm seeing a lot of cars out there at the moment. In race mode, though. Nice. Crack sounding epic as always. Yeah, traction light is on like mad at the moment because of course, until the uh, tires are a little bit warmer, we're not gonna have a whole lot of grip. Although I tell you what, it's so busy here. I've got the center behind me. Do you know what? I'm gonna let him go blink left so he knows he can go past. Let, it, let him go. <laughs> session but I'm chasing the center and the interesting thing is I'm sure he's full flat he's not really walking away that much considering I was so much later on to the power than he was this car just shoots away when you're back on the throttle I'm chasing race cars in the center around Kota. <laughs> Bits of rubber flying everywhere. And I'm gonna let the uh, AMG GT3 go flying past me. No, he's not coming in. I thought he was. Oh, there he goes. How cool is this? Oh, I'm a bit wide around there. AMG GT3, 911 Cup and a McLaren Senna all in front of me. I can't, I, I don't have that much grip. <laughs> the, the AMG just stuck around there in a way I could only dream of in my distant dreams of that. Back to the centre. Tell you what, traction is super invasive back into sport handling mode. Hold it on the power through here. to the higher 170s down there. Heavy brake zone. As we come round to more of the tighter and twistier corners, and this section of the track is certainly taking me some learning as to what exactly is the best approach. I'm sure you V through here, but this is one of the reasons to have the track telemetry turned on it gives you that instant feedback as to what you're doing right or what you might be doing wrong. So we go wide around here, 
to catch it back in later in the corner. Slides off camber, gets a little bit wobbly there. Penultimate corner. <laughs> oh, this is so good. So, 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 so good. This car is just a monster. That's what I love. It can come to a track like this and be one of the quickest cars around, yet at the same time, it can be a wonderful car for a road trip of perhaps 10,000 miles across the United States of America. Think about this, the same car. That's what's so special about the AMG GT Black Series. That's what this car does so well. A month of luggage in the back, but still going around Kota with pretty worn tires, looking after it in two minutes 22, and maybe faster later, who knows? I'm impressed, I am very impressed each and every time I take this to a circuit. It is a wonderful piece of machinery, absolutely wonderful. Anyway, blinkers on, into the pit lane, cup goes past, we go down to 35 miles per hour, pit lane speed limiter, or limit I should say. Session two done in the GT Black Series here at Kota. been out in the center for a few laps but it's getting towards the end of the day so now we actually have a happy hour session with all sorts of different cars coming together and another opportunity to take this out and it's doing this and learning and going back over it a little bit and looking at lines and looking at other things and going with other people that helps teach and explain so much more about the drive about ultimately bettering yourself this isn't chasing a lap time to do that I would need fresh tires probably a bit more sleep last night and a feeling that that's what I was going for. At the end of the day, I'm here to have fun and to drive the car and to enjoy it. And you know what? This is such an awesome car for this kind of thing. So let me get it started again. Let's go out for a last session and keep enjoying Kota. And let's see what, lots of loud cars out there, what the lap time comes to at the end. Here we go. Out onto Kota with race cars, road cars, you name it. We're in race mode. It's things like here, for example, dipping into the red. Feels unnatural at first, but certainly helps for lap times. Similarly through here, while I don't want to hit these orange curbs, you can get a lot closer to them than I was earlier. So definitely going to make the most of that. And around here, massively more of the curb available for the taking. Similarly up here, this is where it'll be really interesting with the Supra. I'm gonna go into ESC Sport Handling, but this car will, I think, obliterate the Supra up here. <laughs> Watch what happens now. <laughs> that passing speed. off bangs out of this are just monstrous. I need a later turn in here to get straighter before putting the power down. There we go, that felt better. T1's apex is much earlier than I've been giving it credit for. the GT4 Club Sport in front is a race car with way less power to be fair it makes you realize how far something like this is that I can just completely drive with it keep up do whatever 
even through corners. on the brakes there, perhaps a little bit wide. We'll take it, we'll take it. The outer white line was still good. cars it's really 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 something as we come down towards the S's here I mean just here you fly in behind anything so many different types of car on track at once we did a 221 I have no doubt that without traffic I would be in the 219s. We give it a few more laps, 218s possibly. Not sure what this could actually do, but considering dead tires and the amount of mess on the track, it's pretty good going, I would say. That's pretty good going. I'm literally driving through all the pickup now, but it's the end of the day. It's just gonna mean a little bit more rubber to clean out of the arches at the end. Oh dear, wow, what a day, what an experience, what an opportunity to push this car to really get a feel for what it's about. So I let the Porsche go past now on my left, let him through, there we go, round the outside for me. Focusing on the cool down a little bit because it's been a pretty intense day for this car been a pretty intense day indeed but you know what it's what it's for I might need some pads at some point who knows all I know for right now is that 
I have enjoyed this so much, so freaking much. I really wanted to come here. I booked this day a long time ago when I got the dates. We've made all sorts of crazy plans and arrangements around it. It's not been simple, to be completely honest, but uh, we made it. We're here in Austin. We've driven the GT Black Series here at Cota. Let the guys behind me know I'm going into the pits. And we can call it a day in a fabulous way. Tires, well, they're not gonna have a whole lot left. I'll be completely honest with you, but hey, doesn't really matter. Doesn't matter at this stage at all. On to some new ones. For now, back to the pit garage. Now that we're back in the pit garage, I've actually just put in the front splitter, but one thing that has to be done here is to take the sticker from the windscreen. Here's one we prepared earlier, just pulling that back ever so slightly, although I'm doing it very carefully because I want to make sure this stays in one piece. This, chin track days here in Texas, obviously needs to find a new home under here. Where are we going to put it? Um, I think maybe this one, because it's a small one, can fit right in there. How fun is that? This is really shaping up to be a cool little selection of stickers. So, we need to load all of our luggage, which is just over to the side, into here again. Basically, get ready to go. I think, I'm gonna check this. Not sure if I should check this <laughs> on camera. Yeah, we're literally just okay. There's a whole lot of pickup and rubber on the tire but those actually are more legal than I would have thought at the back. There's more tread than I thought at the back. Hmm, you might be thinking what I'm thinking. The fronts, however, because of the aggressive setup, got to go to the inside edge. They're still legal actually, which is good. Still above the wear indicators. The wear indicators inside here are at two mil. In the US, just like in Europe, it's about the same. Um... All right, I've had sticky tires pick up a cable tie. Um, same as in Europe, it's 1.6 mil, it's the legal minimum. So we're legal, that's the important thing. But I wouldn't want to sit on these for very much longer. Really, for not very much longer. Saying that, we've got a long drive in dry weather conditions, which is good from here onwards. And that's gonna be coming up next as we take this car through 10,000 miles. It's already just through 9,000. Very shortly, it's gonna be going through 10,000 miles already. That's crazy when you think about it. But it's now driven Donington, Dubai Autodrome, Yas Marina. Has it been anywhere else before here? Can't quite remember, but it's also got Cota on that list. Circuit of the Americas. No burgering, obviously. Oh, I'm exhausted. My brain is frazzled. Let's get packed up, return my helmet, get ready for the drive ahead. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you to the guys here that we've been sharing the pit garage box with. Thank you to everyone at Chin Track Days for their hospitality in arranging it today as well. I did book myself on, but it's been wonderful as an experience. That's it for now though, and I'll see you again very soon. Cheers.